Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and if you own a Samsung Galaxy S5 and you're wondering how it stacks up against LG's latest smartphone with the LG G4, well, let's do a little bit of a comparison. Well, the first thing you're going to notice is the display is a lot smaller. It's 5.1 inches on the Samsung Galaxy S5, only 1080p display. Now, the LG G4 has a 5.5 inch display, and this easily has one of the best displays on the market right now. It's 2560 by 1440, and it's got a quantum IPS panel. So I know it's not super AMOLED like we have here. Uh, one of the things about the brightness, oh, both of these bad boys are turned down and are already blowing out the camera. So these are both very, very bright displays. Um, this is running Android 4.4, although I believe a, a Lollipop update did uh, get released on this not long ago. So this is running Android uh, 5.1, which is the latest iteration that I've ever seen on a smartphone. Now a few sim now a few similar now now a few similarities. These both have removable covers. They both have micro SD card slots, and they both have removable batteries. So we know that uh, on the Galaxy S6 line, this is not the case. So if you are an S5 user and are looking to upgrade. And the things that you love about the, S, uh, the S5 are the removable battery and the micro SD card slot. Well, then you may be in the market to be switching over to this. I mean, the camera on this one is 16 megapixel, same as this one, also 16 megapixel. But to be honest with you, this camera is going to be giving what we have on the Galaxy S6 a run for its money. LG has included a two-tone flash, and there's a laser autofocus here, as well as a column spectrum sensor. So this means that when you're taking a photo with the LG G4, it's going to be doing a white balance independently. And the laser autofocus also means that it's going to be taking faster photos at night, as well as faster autofocus in general. Uh, one of the things that I personally love about the G4 is the black button placement. It's good for righties and lefties, and I think that it's really, really quite natural. Now these both come with quick charge. Uh, oh, sorry, they do not come with quick charge. Uh, they come with wireless charging. Uh, that's one thing that is missing on the LG G4 is, is, uh, is quick charge. That's something that I was hoping to see, but I think that it has something to do with the fact that LG is offering Qi wireless charging on this that we're not getting that. So on the front here, we have a two megapixel shooter. On the front here, we have an eight. So as a selfie machine, this is gonna be way, way, way better. I mean, the camera on the S5 was already pretty good. Not as good as what we saw on the Note 4, and of course not as good as what we have on the Galaxy S6. But at the same time, if camera is important to you, definitely what we've got on the LG is going to be very comparable. Now in terms of low light, it looks like the S5 is doing a little bit better uh, in terms of front facing low light, but well, that could just be the angle. So anyways, if you would like to learn more about both of these devices, please check out our article comparing them. Uh, this was just a quick and dirty hands-on with the S5 versus the S, or versus the LG G4. This is Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at LG's latest handset. Yeah.